Hi everybody and welcome back to another Sailor Moon review. Today I have the two stick and rod series. These are the collector's box series, I guess. One is the Moon Prism set and that's this one here. This is the first one that came out. It's in a huge box and uh, this is the standard one. There's also a fan club version and the fan club one is a little more expensive and just has another like a little art image inside the box. It's the only difference with that one. And then they have the light up edition. This one's actually in a much smaller box and I didn't even really realize that until I was getting ready to do this video and then you can kind of tell the box sizes. This one's like way bigger. But uh, I guess I'll do the moon prism edition first. This one being the first one that came out. And you have this slip cover that's on these. There's the front of the slip cover, and it kind of has a little instruction of how to put the stands that come with these together on the outside. Then on the very back, you just have like warnings and such, and there is a Toei sticker right here in the back as well, showing that it's official. And the 25th anniversary logo is on here as well, it's the international one. But uh, the main purpose of these really to me, I think, is the boxes, the collector boxes, like these inner boxes here that actually hold the wands. They're kind of shimmery. They have a really cute little design on them. This one of course says Sailor Moon Stick and Rod Moon Prism Edition. But the whole box is just decorated with all kinds of decorative features and such. I just realize the moon is upside down. I don't know if I exactly why that is. On the side here it is upside down. Or no, it's, it's upside down because the box opens this away. I'm not sure what's going on with that, but I guess I'll figure it out as I open this. I did already open this once, briefly kind of looked at it to make sure they were okay and everything. I didn't get one that was broken or something. But there's the back of it. But I'll get this open. And the top inside of the standard set just has this nice little foil print of the wands that actually come inside the box. And it's really nice, actually. I, I do like the the choice of decoration on the inside. It has all the names of the wands in it. It's really pretty. And then in the inside, actually has three layers of foam covering them up. And then you get this uh, little warning paper inside. But here's the wands right there. And these are kind of like the gashapons that have come out previous for these. That's why they're kind of small and everything. Um, but these ones are actually a bit bigger than the original gashapons, so they're not exactly the same size. Now, these are kind of in here in a molding. They're not really protected on the back though, which is kind of disappointing to me because that can kind of scratch on that plastic in the back. They should have put some kind of like tissue paper in the back or something to protect them. But here's the first one. This one is the the uh, moon stick, obviously. And you do have a nice shimmery paint on these. It's like a metallic paint. And I think this version is kind of based on the Sailor Moon World moon stick that came out because it does have the two stars on the front and the, all the design as well. But the uh, hollow paint is covering the crystal, so it kind of has like a rainbow effect on the crystal. It's kind of hard to show that on camera, but maybe you can see it. This one actually doesn't have a hole or anything in the back for the stand, like the original Gashapon version did. So the, the stands on these might go on a little differently. And then here is the Cutie Moon Rod. And it has the prismatic paint on it as well and it looks just like a miniature version of the bigger one and I think this one has more decorative uh, details on the heart part here so I think it's based on the world version as well that came out for the 10th anniversary so it's a little bit more decorative than the original toy version mine has a little like imperfection right there next to the star, the first star, but it's not that big of a deal to me. The um, quality of these aren't 
fantastic. One thing I definitely did notice, um, they are easy to scratch. So I, I wouldn't play with them too, too much. The, like the back of this one I noticed when I first took it out is the back is all scratched. I don't know if you can see that, but there are little scratches. And that is from it rubbing in the plastic molding in the back of this. That's why I said that it's disappointing they didn't put any tissue paper on the back of these. But this of course is the Spiral Heart Moon Rod. It's my favorite wand of the um, whole series. But I am disappointed that the back is already scratched and it's just from sitting inside this box. <laughs> so that's very, very disappointing. These are really expensive sets. I mean, you're paying maybe $200 for one of these, depending on where you bought it from or whatever. And the Fan Club version is even more expensive. So the fact that these can be easily scratched and everything, and they already come pre-scratched, is really, really sad to me. You'd think that they would take a better job of trying to protect these. They already have the foam. Like, there's three layers of foam just for the very top of the uh, wands, but yet they have no foam in the back to protect the back of the wands from getting damaged. So it makes no sense. Next is the Kaleidoscope Moon Rod, and here it is. And this one has a nice prismatic... Well, it's kind of like a hollow paint as well on this. And the wings on the wand move. So this one's very close to the way the Proplica looks to me. Uh, more so than it does the, the Sailor Moon World re-release that came out. It's really pretty. Nice prismatic detailing on it. Very, very shiny paint. And then the back, of course. Inside is clear. So you can see clear through the top of it, so it's not like silver. I do like the wings moving. The wings moving is really nice. But there are all kinds of hairline scratches on the back, just like the other ones. So, yeah. Very, very sad about that, but still pretty. And then here is the Eternal Tear wand and it's really pretty as well it, the whole handle is, has that hollow paint on it there are a couple imperfections on this though and they're kind of subtles but I'll mention them the little heart detailing right here I don't know if you can see that but there's like a little chip on one of the little detailing circles on the front. I don't know what you would call those, but <laughs> one of them's chipped, which is kind of sad. And then on the back, there is some pink paint that's not exactly supposed to be there, and it's underneath the hollow paint, so you can't like remove it or anything. So yeah, they're not great. And I w wouldn't really complain too, too much if these were like the Gashapon ones. Like the Gashapon sets are under $50 for a whole set of those. And they come in the crane machines and everything. But this here is a really expensive collector's set. A little disappointed in that. But there, there is the entire set in this one. And like I said, this is just a little molding cut out and on the back is all your stands and at the end I'll put the, all these together and you can kind of see what they look like and I'll give you a close-up look at what they look like as well so that way I'm not taking up too much of you guys' time watching this but these are very much like the Gashapon ones you have your basic circle stand and then you have these little stems that go into the holes and then the wands rest in the uh, indent in the front. And each one of these has the names of each wand. The back of the uh, actual box has the names of her attacks. So instead of the names of the wands, you get the names of the attacks, which is kind of cool, because I mean, th these already have the names of the wands on each one. All right, so next we'll talk about the Stick and Rod Light Up Edition. And this one has one of the 
wands in it that light up and if you've seen pictures you know which one it is but the other ones are actual pens so this one's a little bit more functional I guess you could say they're not just supposed to be on your desk to display this one you can actually kind of use and the box is the same like the others you do have the detailing on it that explains how to put the stands together and even about like the two that uh well the, the pens and the one that lights up so you kind of get a little explanation of it and then the back has the toy sticker but we'll open this up and this one's a little less detailed i think than the other one there's the front of the box and then the detailing on the side and the side there's nothing on the other sides though these are just gold so they're a little bit lackluster on the sides there than the other one and this one of course has the same type of thing it has the moon stick and the transformation pens for the inners mine has a little bit of a scrape on there i'm not sure like manufacturing kind of thing but the detailing is nice on there and then this one only has one layer of foam and then you can see the pens there and it's a really nice set it's very nicely presented but again you have the foam that's not protected on the back of each item so i'm pretty sure that they're scratched <laughs> because the other ones were definitely scratched what's funny is these ones come with batteries already in them, which is kind of different. They don't, usually don't come with batteries. You have to put batteries in them yourself. But there is a covering of plastic here to protect the button from being pressed during shipping. But we'll take each one of these out. We'll start with the transformation pens first, but this is the Mercury one. And there is a nice little gem here, just an acrylic cheap plastic gem though. And then it does have the covering here with a hollow sticker in the back and her symbol. And it is metallic paint on all these again, but it's really cheap. It, it can be easily scratched probably. And then you take that off and there's the pen. And the pen is probably basic, I'd say. I think it's just, yeah, I think it's just standard black ink. You can see the black ink in there. So these aren't colored or anything, they're just basic black ink. Unfortunately, I probably won't take the tip, the protective tip off there, by protecting the pen, just so it might help keep the ink from drying out over time. But yeah, there's that, and it's pretty standard, I'd say. Pretty, uh, cosplay accurate if you wanted to use it for cosplay or something but there's that one and here is Mars and Mars is the same deal same gym same holographic sticker behind the plastic thing and everything and then of course the pen underneath and the it's black ink as well you can tell if it's colored ink or not so I've had a lot of pens in my days, so I can tell the color is different in there. And then here is Jupiter. Of course, same deal. I mean, these are nice and everything, and I have other versions. And of course, these were never made into Gashapon wands, like the other set. So those ones were only like the star pens. So if you don't have those already, then I'd recommend getting this set. Sunstar Stationery also has their own version of these as well, which I already have. But yeah, black ink again. They do have this foil sticker inside each one of these as well. Kind of jazz them up, I guess. And then lastly for these is Venus, of course. And hers is the same deal. I do like that they have the design or symbol on both sides of these. They could have probably cheapened that out and not 
put it on both sides. Of course, the gym here in the front is only on that particular side. So those all match up well. And then lastly is the light up one. And when I originally opened these up, I put this piece of tissue or a napkin under the other side because I noticed right away how scratched up this thing got getting here. And I have a lot of complaints about this. I was kind of sad about the condition mine was in. It's not a huge, huge deal. Probably some people would say that theirs is just fine the way it looks, but up close there are black specks all over the hollow paint and it's embedded in the paint so you can't get them off. But here's the moon stick. It's, it's a lot different than this one. This one's actually a little smaller than that so it is bigger in that sense there's not as much detailing on this one as there is that one but the paint is darker and the big moon and everything's bigger and inside the little orb in the front is actually a bit more detailed yeah this one you can barely see the little circles inside but this one is definitely more defined and it has little acrylic gems in the inside so it is pretty in that sense. There's a hollow sticker behind there. It isn't exactly clear, but it, it is clear enough so you can see the light. So this is the button for it. So there it is, it lights up. And it's lit up on both sides. I think this would have been prettier had they not added the hollow paint because adding the hollow paint on the moon actually makes it more easy to scratch and there is a scratch or chip of the hollow paint on the back you can't see it in this video probably it's probably going to be incredibly difficult to get that on film but it is chipped on the back and it's just basically from being inside this molding during shipping and all that but here are the stands and I'll get these out of here so you can see them a little better Stands. I'm gonna put these together so you guys can see them but they do have the names of each oh each guardian is named on there so it's not the names that are on here like the other ones it's the names of the characters so it's got Sailor Moon Mercury whatever and the stems are on here and the little clips that they rest on are on here. So let me get these together and the other set and then I'll give you my opinion on each one after that. Okay, so I was sitting here putting these together and uh, as tedious as that is, one thing I wanted to mention though is when you put these together, they are all numbered inside the little tray. So you will get a uh, one stand one little holder piece and one stem so each one of these will be numbered with each number for that particular wand uh, one thing to know too is when you're putting these together i usually kind of put the, this part on first the little holder piece and try to put that as straight as i can as hard as that is and then put the stem on the base of the stand and these kind of go on rather snugly, kind of clips in. And then once you get that in, you want to try to line it up to this little circle here. So I kind of do that, kind of level it up from above this piece to try to get it even. I hope that makes sense to you guys. It's kind of tedious after a while and can get kind of frustrating. You just want to be careful putting that together. You don't want to break the stem or anything. But I thought I should mention that in case you guys end up getting this set and want to know more about putting the stands together because uh, that's the whole, whole part of displaying these is these stands. So there's that. All right, so here they all are on their stands. And the stands weren't too difficult to put together. I think the main problem, like I said before, is just trying to line them up correctly so that they rest against their little... Um, holder pieces and they stand up straight and everything that is my main problem with the stands but 
I'll try to show you here and you can see a little closer. But these pieces just rest on the backs of these stands. They're, they don't go on to any hooks or anything like the Gashapon sets do, where they actually have a hole in the back and you're supposed to put the peg in the hole and everything. These just rest against there, so it's a little bit more complicated to get them to stay. So you just have to kind of put them against there and leave them be. I do like the bases, the metallic lettering and everything looks really nice. Um, these ones here that actually have the stems um, with, the, with the hooks that actually kind of circle around the back of each wand is a little bit better. This one and the two moonstick ones, as you can see like this one is wanting to spin. It's kind of a pain. So after it just kind of sits there and with movement and everything, it wants to move slightly more and more and more. I, I still like them. I just wish that some of them were made a little bit better to hold the wand than others. But uh, that's just a per personal preference. So I think that's my basic review of these wand sets. They're really pretty. I do think they make nice collector's pieces. I think the price though is a little high because of the quality of these. I think the quality is a lacking on the paint. And I don't understand why they put foam around the outside and the tops of these wands, but they neglect the backs and they just leave them bare with no tissue paper or foam or anything to protect them. So when you get them, it's almost guaranteed you're gonna get some that has some hairline scratches or some scuffs or whatever. And that's kind of disappointing. Um, if it weren't for that, I think um, I would have gave this set a better rating than I am. Uh, also, the stands are a little difficult to line up and get perfect, um, but that is kind of minor compared to the, the scratches and the stuff. So I hope that helps you guys decide whether or not you want to get these or not. Um, I know they're kind of hard maybe to get now, especially the first set, but they are on eBay and they probably are on like um, Yahoo Japan auctions or something. So they might still be able to be gotten or ordered. So, but I hope that does help you guys a little bit. And if you have any questions or concerns about the set, you can leave them in the comments below. But I do appreciate you guys checking out my video today and I will see you guys next time. All right, bye.